Greetings, pilgrims, and welcome to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. Today I'm bringing you a workaround related to a problem I experienced working between Substance Designer 5 and Unity 5. So I want to show you what I have here is the nice uh, substance I've been working on. This is following a tutorial by um, a gentleman by the name of James Sky. Um, he has some amazing tutorials. I'm going to put his uh, YouTube link in the description for the video because you should really check it out. I've learned a lot from him in a really short amount of time. I have reached out to Mr. Sky to see if maybe he'll do an interview with us and maybe share some tips with us in the future. That would be really awesome. So anyway, uh, I've been working on this uh, sci-fi metallic cube. You can see here, here is my graph, which is looking pretty nice. And uh, everything is working well, except for when I try and bring it into Unity. So let's take a look at doing that. So if I click on the panel here and I say publish, and I'm going to call this um, sci-fi try. So I'm going to try to import this. And I say try because I already know it won't work. But let me show you the blue sky. Everything should work. I type in a name. Um, you will see that we're going to save it as an SBSAR. So there's a substance archive file. Okay. I'm going to save that to my desktop and say, yep, random seed is what I want. Okay. All done. So let's jump over to Unity. So now, here we are in Unity, and we're going to look at importing the substance and look at the errors that it causes and explain how we can work around that. So now, to work around this error that we're seeing, what we're going to do is uh, first attempt to import it. So if I go here, right-click, Import New Asset, and here it is, Sci-Fi Try. So I'm going to select that and say Import. And you'll notice that instead of the nice icon here that shows a preview of what it looks like, I'm getting a little page. And down here in the corner, um, I'm not sure you might not be able to see it over my logo, but it says import failed. So if I click that and say, what are you talking about? So here it shows me import failed, and it says failed to receive a single SBSASM file in the archive. Did you use Substance Cooker? So these are the errors that you get when Substance 5 archives come into Unity. Well, that's not right. You know, it should be completely seamless. Well, it is except for one caveat. So let's go ahead and look at how we're going to fix that. So I'm going to clear this and go back to Substance Designer. So what it is is most of the nodes work fine, but some of the new ones in 5 are not yet supported in Unity. This is not an oversight that they never intended it to work. It's that they're still working towards that point. So as of the date of this recording, if you run into this issue, here's how to fix it. In Substance Designer, go up to the top here and say Tools preferences and you will get this window in your preferences go to projects in projects right here you'll see compatibility mode and this is really neat you can drop this down to four we're going to say apply and okay which are off off screen underneath my head there for a moment but now you won't notice any difference right away here but if you go to your graph you'll notice that several of my nodes have a, a highlight around them so these two here have a highlight around them there is one down here and then there are these two up here, have highlights, or these three rather, pardon me, have highlights around them. And what the highlight is telling you is that these are unsupported in Substance Designer 4. And essentially, if you take any substance you're working on, you switch to the compatibility mode for 4, and any that are highlighted like this, all you have to do is, unfortunately, work around them. You have to, to remove, them, remove them from your graph and find a way to accomplish the same result without that function or node. And if you can do so, then it works. So let's jump back over to Unity. I'll show you what I'm talking about. OK, so here in Unity, we have some that have already imported. And the way I came across this was I took some from the example files that come with uh, Substance Designer. And I said, well, what's, what about these works? And why don't mine work? And that's what led me on the path, including some you know, internet research. So here's a substance that works that came from them directly. This is for asphalt, and you notice if I expand it, this second icon here is what you want. This one here, if you click and drag that onto any object in Unity, then there we go. So now this cube here is being uh, textured and uh, have a material on it that is asphalt, and we can affect all of these various parameters. We can you know, make the normal less or more intense, everything here. These are what's called exposed um, um, attributes, exposed parameters, exposed attributes, and these you can expose inside of Substance and then alter them inside of Unity. And the great part there is you can alter them even programmatically, which is just mind-blowing. So you can age a scene using a, using a function. It's amazing. So we have here 
we have one that functions. We want to make ours function. So here is mine, the same panels. I just removed the nodes that were not working properly and I kind of worked around them a little bit. It's still a work in progress, but if I open this, you'll see I have the same icon. I click and drag and here is my metallic cube. And if I come over here to my properties, scroll down, you notice the only one that I have exposed right now is the random seed. But as I randomize that, it is changing one of the values. It might be difficult to see on camera. Uh, it's one of the paneling values. So some panels are slightly raised more than others. So I have one of the properties already exposed. Now you can also access the individual textures that it creates from this process and apply just that to a material or just that to another object. But I like using the D archive because why not? I have all of my attributes all in one nice little file. So I hope that's really helped guys. Uh, I know this, I struggled with this for a couple days and I just refused to give up and just kept searching and searching and I found the answer. So if you guys have problems like this, um, let me know because I'd like to know as well. We can do the research together and we'll find out a solution. And sometimes it's just a matter of they're still working on it, which is a perfectly acceptable answer. And uh, I'm very happy with the work that both companies have done. And I'm happy that they are kind of handshaking and making it work together for us. So as always, guys, keep practicing, get better. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.